Well, this morning, uh, the people who uh, tend to this field at the back um, have. Uh, Hello, where are you? Hello. <laughs> Sorry, my. Um, the people who tend to the field at the back have uh, started to uh, take a look at the preparation of the field this year. This field, as I've probably said to you before, is uh, only cultivated for rice once a year and it generally takes place round about uh, late June. They start to make the pathways in between the, the paddies and then early July they come along and plough and of course all of that depends upon the, the rains. So if the paddies are wet enough they can start the preparation with the tractor and uh, you know, plough. Some my dust. Um, it's very windy today. It's just a microphone. That's all it is. Yeah. Hello, waggy tail. Waggy tail. Hello. One knee. One knee. Pull crowd. Jump up. Bye, teal. Bye. Nam tok. Mok fa. Why is everybody in the back just so quiet? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Really? Yeah. Okay. Today we're going to have some fun. We're going to go for a walk with the kids and uh, in, enjoy a walk up the mountain. It's about 10 kilometres, uh, but uh, after they've after they've had a good walk and exercise up the up the mountain, about 10 kilometres, um, they'll enjoy some lunch hopefully because uh, they haven't eaten much. Well, welcome to Wat Ban Den. I'm out at Mer Tang, which is north of the city. Around about an hour to get here with the traffic and uh, every red light. Um, yeah, the world and his aunt is out today, so um, it's quite a busy place. We wanted to go to a waterfall. Uh, we called them a couple of days ago and said, is the waterfall open? And the restaurant nearby said, yeah, yeah, yeah. People have been in here. They've been to the, into the waterfall. Uh, uh, afraid not so we had to have plan B well, it's not such a bad plan B this is uh, uh, as all uh, Thai temples constant development there's a new uh, temple structure at the far end going up with a uh, large Buddha in it a couple of Buddhas actually three uh, the place has uh, been here like this for plus 10 years and every time we come we see something new something different it's quite beautiful uh, the colors are quite striking and the amazing uh, images that you see on the steps are dragon uh elephant uh, with their trunks I've never seen a dragon with a trunk until I came here Well, this evening, uh, the uh, thunder and lightning's uh, been all the way around. We've had a decent amount of rain. The storm wasn't too bad here. Uh, the result is that uh, after you've uh, not had a good storm for a while, uh, you get a lot of these, uh, what we call Mung Mao. They're termite type ants and they buzz around the lights. So if you've got windows open uh, or gaps in your uh, screen uh, doors, 
what you get is a lot of um, mung mao. And they come into your into your home or into your uh, living space, and uh, they shed their wings, and they go off and mate and die. Well, some of them must live, obviously. They've been so busy and exhausted by the release. Oh, I think he's just in the final throes of it. Oh, 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 oh. I'm feeling a bit sorry for this fellow now. Let's see if we can put him on his, on his legs. Ah. Oh. Here we go. Oh, he's got life in him yet. There we go. He's on his way. Oh, there's another fella. So if you can put up with the bugs, you get on really well. Uh, if you can't put up with the bugs, you are paranoid about cleanliness, you're paranoid about you know, where they've been, where, 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 they've, where they've come from. Par you're paranoid about uh, you know, catching something from them. You've just got to overcome uh, the difficulty of being in a hot climate. If you can overcome that, it, life becomes a lot easier. It's an inconvenience because you've got to clear up after them in the morning. Uh, you've got to clear up after them uh, because they've shed their wings or some of the bugs that uh, when you've closed the window uh, to shut up, uh, you know, to go to bed at night, there's this smell and you think, oh no, I've killed one of those smelly bugs. There's something, they're a little black thing that uh, come out at, uh, on, a, on another occasion. But, you know, you've just got to live with bugs. Don't be paranoid about them. Welcome to my, my lunch. I'm down at Parsang on the Weir, uh, which is crossing over a small tributary uh, to the Ping. I came here some time ago and uh, showed you the weed back and front. It's, it's broken down a little bit at the back and uh, the fishermen have obviously opened it up so they can get at the fish. Today I'm having Kalpad Bull. It's very nice. Bull is crab in Thai and it's a it's like a stir fry. Uh, cow pad is where you cow is the rice and pad is stir fry. So cow pad ball, and I put a couple of hard boiled eggs mixed in with it. It's very very tasty, um, mainly for the protein really. The uh, area here is really quiet. It's lovely. It's beautiful. This is real rural. Thailand. The last video I published was not real rural Thailand. It was a bit of an experiment. It was a lot of fun. I might do another one soon. The, the experiment was something I've wanted to do for a while. It's uh, been itching me to, to actually get this off my chest. Visitors uh, to Thailand want to enjoy Thailand for what it is. Visitors to Thailand want to understand what there is they can do and see when they come to Thailand. And maybe somebody who wants to come and live longer term maybe needs some basic information. This is beautiful Thailand. This is rural Thailand and I'm glad that you are uh, looking 
for the information I'm giving you about rural Thailand. Better than prices anytime. I mean, if you want to know how much I paid for my lunch, I'll tell you. But it's not something I'm going to repeat uh, time after time after time. 39 baht. Um, wow. Anyway, this, um, this is the Guang. This leads down to the Ping River. Up there, it goes up to Lampun. And Pasang is uh, really on the way out of Lampun, out, out of the countryside. And it's an underrated place. There are so many nice, interesting places around here to see. Amazing tree. I've seen these blooms before, but I've never seen those uh, look like little coconuts. Uh, they might be a parasite, or maybe it's the additional seed pods or something of the tree. Today I've come to Wat Ko Klang. Uh, this is a little known temple out the other side of Pasang. I was put onto it by a friend, our candle blowing friend Nadia and Mark. <laughs> <laughs> they came here last week and said that it was a very beautiful place. It's got some history. This apparently was where uh, the first queen of uh, Hari Punchai, uh, back in the 12th century uh, here in Thailand, uh, the first queen, Dawa Debi. Uh, it's uh, either TH or a, or a D, depending on how good your tongue is. Uh, but uh, Dawa Debi uh, is the queen, the first queen of uh, Lampun as we know it now, but Hari Punchai, which was uh, part of the earlier kingdoms. Um, when Ayutthaya and uh, the other kingdoms existed. Oh, I've got some in my dust. Um, it's very windy today. Uh, a lot of dust flying about. Well, I've, I, I've come here to this temple, uh, Wat Ko Klang. It's got a bit of a history to it. In this um, museum uh, that's been erected here uh, are some artifacts, um, some stuff from centuries ago little sculpting things and um, sculptured things and very beautiful pottery that was obviously in its day uh, very very beautiful anyway i'm going to walk around the the uh, temple it's totally deserted here uh, the guy in the uh, museum he was sweeping out the dust he was apologizing because of covid shutting down he said and all the dust coming in and today is the 15th of june the curfew overnight has been lifted so big change today 15th of june i think it's happening around the world and a lot of places are making changes this week too anyway i'm going to walk around the temple grounds and have a look absolutely deserted hello waggy tail waggy tail hello yeah you're nice aren't you well this rather sad looking chedi is the main chedi at the temple. It's dated round about uh, 20 to 21st century of the Thai calendar, so therefore 500 years ago. Um, it looks it. Uh, it's 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 quite uh, quite poor in its uh, in its, you know, its state at the moment. Oh, we've got the big brown boy coming now. Look at him. He's lovely. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> mm. It's just a microphone. Yeah. It's just a microphone. That's all it is. Yeah. It's just a microphone. Yeah. Don't worry. It's just a microphone. <laughs> this uh, little unfortunate name, dead cat, on the microphone. Uh, doesn't please too many dogs. Uh, whenever you show this microphone to uh, dogs, they they get a bit um, get a bit excited. It's funny. They don't look at me. They don't look at the camera. They don't look at uh, the, the tripod I'm carrying to hold my uh, camera. It's that furry thing on the end there, 
really interested in. So there we have it. What co clang? Nice little walk around the temple. We go out across the road now. There's a new development across here as well as an old one that I've not shown you yet. Oh, somebody's lost their hat. We've got more rain on the way. It was a lovely rainfall last night. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Hope you enjoyed the images of those little bugs. Got up this morning to show you the dead bodies on the floor and some of their wings. They've all gone. The ants have been clearing them up. The ants are our friends, I tell you. that They've cleared all the uh, debris away. It's, it's perfectly clean. Nobody had come along and swept it up overnight. The ants have taken it away. Amazing. Anyway. Thanks for joining me again this uh, video and it's been a pleasure as always to put together some clips for you to uh, appreciate rural Thailand. Out of town, Chiang Mai, in the province. Love it. If you did, give me a thumbs up please. Leave me a comment below. Let me know what you thought about this video. Consider subscribing and you'll be notified in your inbox of new videos published if you hit that little alarm bell. Please do. So until next time. Stay well, stay safe, be happy, bye bye.